and welcome to ETF Edge, your go-to place for everything exchange-traded funds. I'm your host, Bob Pisani. As the market continues to hit new highs, there has been growing interest in how to stay in the market, but at the same time, provide downside protection without getting too complicated. Not surprisingly, ETFs are popping up to provide those kinds of solutions. Let's talk with Paul Kim. He's the CEO of Simplify ETFs, whose firm specializes in alternative strategies and options-based ETFs. Dave Nodding, my old friend, CEO and director of research of ETF Trends, joining us as well. Paul, Simplify is trying an old strategy overlaying hedge fund-like functions to protect against downside risk for stocks, interest rates, volatility. What's the overall strategy here? Can you replicate a hedge fund-like strategy using ETFs? So I think, uh, let's dial it back a little bit. I think that is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to dem democratize the access to, to sophisticated capabilities and uh, portfolio tools that traditionally have been only available to the largest institutional investors like hedge funds, i.e. things like access to OTC derivatives, access to thoughtful, well-constructed portfolio leverage, and thoughtful systematic strategies, and access, frankly, to talent. And so what we're trying to do at Simplify is disrupt the sort of classic 2 and 20, i.e. the hedge fund world, as well as structured products as well as reinvent sort of what you could do inside of an ETF. Well, let me start with one of your strategies. Sure. One of the, let's start with the equity strategy, for example. So you have this equity plus convexity ETF. Got to get a simpler title yep. there. SPYC. SPYC. Okay. Yep. You're buying the S&P with an options overlay. Now explain yep. how that works. So options overlays have been around a lot. They're often uh, accomplished through large institutional providers, through SMAs. So our strategy basically, basically takes the same concept. We're, we're buying a, a, a portion of the portfolio is invested in an option overlay, calls and puts. Why is that important? Well, it gives nonlinear exposure. When markets rally strongly, those calls kick in and they could help juice those returns. And when rally, uh, when the markets sell off significantly, for example, what we saw in March, um, puts actually do a really great job in protecting a portfolio. And again, in today's environment where bonds are struggling to deliver that portfolio diversification, right. direct hedges using options so are So here on SPYC, you have S&P 500. Basically, you're on the S&P 500. Yep. And then you have a small percent of, of options. These are put and call options yes, as well? Yes, exactly. So it's 97% or 98% IVV, which is an underlying passive uh, ETF. And then we overlay on it a couple percent a year annualized spend on calls and puts. Now, you also have a similar product, the Equity Plus Downside yep. Convexity ETF. Here, essentially, it seems like you're owning the S&P with just a put option overlay, essentially. Yes. But same thing, except you're not owning Yeah, same thing. Calls. I would say both of these strategies, as well as our third strategy, uh, SPUC, are taking advantage of low delta options. What does that mean? You pay a little bit for a small probability of a very large return. Again, think of it more as almost like a catastrophic insurance uh, instead of trying to overpay for perfect hedging, which will then drive all the returns out of a hedge strategy. Yeah. So Dave, weigh in on this. I mean, you, you makes sense for people who, who want to get some protection without getting too fancy. This seems like an interesting way to do it. Yeah. And it, it for example, in this market, they're going to perform with the S&P 500, providing you don't get too much crazy volatility, the SPYC. Right. Uh, yeah, it, I th what we've Here and today, you're going to underperform a little bit with the put option strategy because 3% right. is in put option. So you have, to, you have to assume you're going to underperform if the markets are sort of boring and flat or slowly rising, which, you know, a lot of the time, that has been the market, this sort of endless bid market where we're up half a percent another day and another day. What strategies like this do is give you an opportunity to profit or protect when you get to those edges. And a lot of advisors we talk to really talk about this tipping point market we're in, where mm. it feels every day like things are a little overvalued, but they could melt up or melt down on almost any catalyst. That's what you're hedging here is those melt up and melt down scenarios all in one package. This whole category of yeah. sort of protection ETFs has pulled in a lot of money in the last year. It has, because my protect, my impression is it's not that big. I mean, if you get well, five billion over the last year. Okay. that's a, that's a reasonable amount of money. Not all in Paul's products, but yep. in that whole class of using options to sort of mold yeah. your returns, it's been about five billion year to date. <laughs>